Hi, today I'd like to talk with you about some of the books in our library that are in the Dewey Decimal System. So we are going to be talking about the books that are running along this side of our wall. So when you first come in the library, you turn to the left and underneath the quilt with the rocket ships down through the lighthouses. All of the books down here are part of our Dewey Decimal System and it's the zeros, 100s, 200s, 300s, and 400s. That's all the books in this area, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So the Dewey Decimal System, um, these are books that on the spine have numbers first, and then they also have letters. Those letters are going to be referencing the author's last name, but the numbers are really how we are categorizing them, how we're grouping them, and we're grouping them by topics. So the Dewey Decimal System is a really good way to group books together, together by subject. All right, so let's get started now. We're going to start talking here about the zeros. Zeros, and these books are ones that have general information, books about facts, mysterious disappearances, paranormal, ghosts, monsters, aliens, all of those topics are here in the zero. So an encyclopedia, an almanac to an alien book, it will all be right here. So on our shelf, it's just this first grouping and you can see some of the spines here. Some are already checked out, some will be checked out, but these books are ones as every book in our library that can be checked out at any time. And we really wanna get all the books in our library in the hands of students so that you know what you wanna read and, and where to find it. Here's some examples of books in the zeros. You have an almanac, 2017, for example. If you're interested in the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot, those and many other books are going to be in this section. All right, the next grouping in this Dewey Decimal System are the 100s. Now, the 100s are philosophy and psychology books. So if you want a book about how you feel, what it feels like to be a human, these are the kinds of books in this area. We'll also find some about ethics, doing the right thing. So here's our 100s, our sign that shows you, ah, okay, this is in this area because this sheet shows you, yep, it's gonna be down this row. And these books start here and they go down then to the bottom row right there. Here's some examples of them. How are you feeling? But this is a play on words. How are you peeling? Foods with moods haunted amusement parks and haunted places in the world. All of these are books that are going to be in the 100s. Next, we have religion and mythology in the 200s. Now, these are going to be books on world religions all over the world, as well as mythology from Greeks, Romans, Egyptians. All of those books are going to be in this area. Here are some examples of some. And here's some that I just pulled down. So if you're interested in uh, Christianity, Islam, Greeks, about Christmas, you're going to find lots of books in this area. All right, the 300s. Now, the 300s is the largest collection in this area. We have many books in our 300s. And the 300s contain lots of great books. We have books here about social studies, which is government, economics, some history things. We have books about holidays and the military. We also have um, fairy tales and folk tales here. So let's look at some of the examples of books in this area. Here's our sign for the 300s. And let me show you how broad this area is. Now these books start here underneath the um, quilt that has the rocket ships and they continue all the way under the quilts with the lighthouses all the way down this row and down this row. So it's a broad section. All right, so let's look at some of the books. We have books about, for example, the Great Depression, voting, money, what people do, such as judges and politicians. We have books about the military, working at a TV station. Fun facts about, this one is, this book stinks and police horses. We have books about mummies and medieval feasts and all of the holidays in the world. So uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, Groundhog Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, many other books. So any holidays that you're interested in, you're going to find them here in the 300s. We also have our 
fairy tales and folk tales. So here's some examples, Cinderella, Hansel and Greta, some scary stories, Epic of Gilgamesh, The Ninja Bread Man, which is a play on The Gingerbread Man. All of these books are here in the 300s. Finally, we're going to talk today about the 400s. The 400s are languages. So books about the English language and every other language in the world are going to be in this area. Here's our sign that shows you, ah, 400s are about language, and this is where they are. And on our shelves, it's the very end right here and down here. These are our 400s. Here's some examples of our 400s. Sign language. Um, we have books on Spanish, French, Arabic, and Italian. We have books on the English language. And then fun um, things about the English la language, such as expressions and commas. What do they really do? And, and many more books about the English language. All right, just to review the different books that we've talked about today. The zeros are general books. These are your books about facts, an encyclopedia, an almanac, books about facts, about aliens, about ghosts, about paranormal activities, strange things. That's your zeros. 100s, philosophy and psychology. How do you feel? What about humans? This also has things about haunting. So the haunted houses, that's in this area. The 200s, religion and mythology. So if you're interested in Greek mythology or um, the Action Bible or anything in between, that's here in the 200s. 300s is social sciences. So this is the one that would have things about different jobs. This is the area that's going to have books about holidays, about the military, about our government, about customs, social problems, folklore, law, as well as fairy tales and folk tales. And finally, the last one that we talked about today is languages. This is going to have anything about any language in the whole world. Okay, now we don't have books about every language in the world here at our school, but languages, if you're interested in English language, sign language, or some of the other languages, this is the area that you're going to want to come to. Stay tuned next week when we talk about the rest of the categories in the Dewey Decimal System. But today I want to challenge you to find a book um, from this area in our Dewey Decimal System.